Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for lithium phosphate plus magnesium sulfate. So first thing we do, we need to write the balanced molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation here. Looks like I have this one magnesium here, and then I have the three here. I'm going to start with the magnesiums. Put a three here, three magnesiums, three magnesiums. That's balanced three sulfates, only one here. So I'll put a three in front of the lithium sulfate. Now sulfates are balanced three times two. I have six lithiums. Let's put a two here. Two times three gives me six. So those are balanced two phosphates here and two phosphates here. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we have to balance the net ionic equation here. So we'll write the state for each substance now. So in general, phosphates are insoluble, but with group one elements like lithium or sodium, potassium, they are going to be soluble. So this will be aqueous. Sulfates in general, pretty soluble. And over here we have a phosphate and it's not bonded to something in group one like lithium or sodium. So this is insoluble. We write solid because it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Over here we have sulfate and lithium, so that's going to be a soluble compound. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We're not going to split the solid apart though. So that looks like this. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I can see here in the reactants, I have a, six of these lithium ions and I have six lithium ions in the products. They haven't changed. You can cross those out there, spectator ions. I can see I have three sulfate ions here and in the products. So these are spectator ions. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Li3PO4 plus MgSO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lithium phosphate and magnesium sulfate. You'll see that charge is balanced. We have three times two plus, that's six plus, and here we have two times three minus. That's six minus. So the net charge here is zero, and this is a neutral compound net charge of zero. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.